Hey everyone, it's Jason. Welcome to an unboxing for a mystery pack of Mini Brands Retro. Uh, so I've done other Mini Brands videos before. Basically, these are little miniature collectibles of, of various products. I've done um, just regular products. I've done toys. I've done grocery stuff. Um, but yeah, they have the retro ones, which are kind of a little bit of everything. Um, and they are these special frozen moments. So I'm going to do is I'm going to open up one ball. And then I have a bunch that we've already unwrapped. And we're going to take a look at those just because it takes a while to go and wrap these. And I don't want to like have to keep pausing it for that. Um, now, there are no codes or anything on here. So there's no way of like, oh, I want this specific one. There's, it's all random. Um, I believe there are five um, things in each ball. So you're getting five little miniatures um, and they can be random. They have rarities to them. But let's go ahead and see about unwrapping one of these. Kind of see how difficult they are. Um, sometimes they're easier than others. Alright, so that piece came off fairly easy. You can find these little zippy parts here. As long as that works. Ooh, if you can get it like that, that's perfect. Sometimes I've had to, like, dig my nails in these, and then they really hurt. Um, try and get them out of the texture under your nails. Alright, so here's our first one. So we're gonna pop this open. And this is how they're all going to come. Now, all the rest of the balls have already been unwrapped completely uh, because these are uh, my wife's. Uh, she, she, I bought them for her, and she opened all the rest of them. And she wanted me to open up one here. But what is in each other ball was what came in each ball. Um, we just don't have them all in the packaging. Um, so it says 60 plus to collect. So they have rarities of common. It's a little green square here. Um, which is like... Um, Dum Dums, you're going to get Mentos, Dole's Bananas, just kind of get an idea. We're going to get some Revlon products, some 3M stuff, batteries, Kodak, oil. Um, flip to the other side, there are Legendaries, which are the pouring ones, which are really cool. We have some Glow in the Dark ones we can get, which are iconic. Um, plus some old magazines, which is really neat. Luxury, um, just some other difference. I think they're... Um, might be gold. These ones are like they're gold, gold colored. Um, so that might be the thing. I'm not sure what the other ones are. Uh, Ultra rare. Just some other different brands. Um, but then you'll get like some of these are the same. So you have like mead here and the mead binder there because any of the higher ones up here tend to be the same. And then we have some rare. Um, and I'm not gonna hold over the list too much just because we want to kind of look at them and see what they all look like. They do have the rarities broke down here again. Um, this is one of the few times they don't also have, like, um, sometimes they have some that are exclusive to, like, a collector's case or, like, one of the play stores or something like that. Um, and there aren't any in this set, so it's just these ones here. Um, so let's go ahead and see what we got here. Um, if I break these open, I'm going to actually move my camera down, like, this a little bit more so we can get a little bit better overview of them. Uh, well, let's see what we got first. We have a can of Hershey syrup. And again, uh, well, these are kind of cool because they're like old retro style um, packaging. They do have, kind of hard to tell, I got a glare on here. But yeah, they have like lots of the ingredients with like how to make it, um, which is really neat. Um, for home use, sugar, water, corn syrup. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say these are 100% the official everything they had on there, way they had them. They may have changed something based on what, you know, their whole thing was. Uh, net weight, one pound. So, a pound of chocolate syrup. Yeah, I don't think they serve these in a can anymore. Like, I think you only buy them in bottles anymore. Um, I was trying to see if there's like a date listed on there. Just trademark of that. Yeah, so they probably have some, like, updated information on there. But, yeah, they don't have, like, dates or anything. Um, they don't, I don't see nutrition list on here. But, yeah, that's kind of cool. So, that was... I'm pretty sure that was probably under the common... Yeah, it's one of the common ones. So, like, this one's a little bit flatter. So, we'll see what this one is. Do, do, do. We have... Oh, we have a video cassette. That's pretty fun. Uh, good old VHS... Um, oh, look at that. Even, like, the pattern stuff on the back. Um, 
no information on there. A little empty box. I love that it comes out of the box, too. They could have just left it in there, and that would have even been neat. But, yeah, a little Scotch video cassette. Uh, ooh, the T120. Uh, she recorded two, four, or six hours, depending on it's awesome. Um, yeah, depending on your SP mode. Um, so, old, old, old people watching this will remember that. Um, setting up if you want slow play, long play, or super long play. Um, depending on how many hours you can record on here. Nowadays, people like put two hour videos on their iPhones. You know, we had to get big old giant cassette tapes to do it. Um, yeah, I'm probably showing my age here a bit, but that's all right. Um, ooh, we got some Planters cheese balls. I mean, cheese balls are still around. Um, I don't know if Planters makes them anymore, um, or if they have them in this style can anymore. Oh, I can't get these to focus. I'm gonna back this up for now, because then maybe it'll focus a little bit better. It's hard to try and, it's hard to focus on a wrong object. Our bag packed in, um, let me see if I do this. What if I zoom in on them instead of trying to get our bag, um, in a resealable crush proof can to stay fr fresher, crispier, Taste gear longer. Their bag gets crushed, broken, squeezed, corn spilled, and goes stale when opened. That's neat. Um, so, and then, like, now, is the top going to come off? Nope. Now, could I probably force it off? Sure. I probably could, but that would probably wreck it. Yeah, it's neat. Old Planters cheese balls. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Oh, a can of V8. Sort of weird because I, I remember growing up with V8 and it's it seemed like it was a new thing at the time. Um you know, but now it's like so old. Uh but yeah, just a can of V8. That's really neat. Alright, and our fifth one for the first ball. We have a bunch of them, so I mean I might not look over all of them too much. Oh, we got old can of Diet Coke. Now, obviously, Diet Coke is still around, but they don't have it in this old can anymore. Um, one then less calorie per serving. It's got the little pop top on there. That's pretty cool. All right. We're going to go ahead and pop open ball number two. I'm going to pop it off down here on the side. Um, I'm going to... I mean, I'm going to back this up just a bit, see if I can maybe just focus in a little bit. And we'll kind of maybe keep some of these up here on the top. Put some cans on that side. We'll put some non-can stuff over there. So, all right. First one we got, ooh, we got a uh, Kodak film reel. Wow. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to try and get these to focus so you guys can really see some of the details on here. But it is hard to do with my camera. It does not want to focus on these tiny details. Yeah, look at that. Kodak Visions. Now, this is this is not even something I used. Um, but, yeah, this is big old film reels. That's really cool. Um, all right. Up next, we have a can of... Dole's sliced apple pineapples. Um, again, Dole's obviously keeps making pineapples. No extra information on here. Um, yeah, they still make it. It's just again sometimes just the retro cans. Uh, some STP oil. So far, I think all of these have been common. Um, Eh, the V8 might not have been. No, the V8 was a rare. So and so is the planter. So we got two rares, uh, and all the rest have been common. But yeah, it's pretty understandable. Um, add treatment gear oil. Nice little oil can. All right, we'll set that with the non-food stuff on that side. Oh, we got a nail polish, Revlon Million Dollar Red. Uh, it's like a chunk got taken out of it. But yeah, it's kind of cool. Not too much I can say about that. Didn't really use nail polish myself. <gasps> the awesome, the holy grail. Um, the floppy disk uh, from 3M. The three and a half, five inch floppy or the save file is 
people know it nowadays. Um, oh, I was hoping that would slide over. That would be really cool. Uh, yeah, that's really awesome. Um, it's probably about as big as it is, as big as some of these cans. All right, so that was ball number two. All right, let's check out the next one. We're going to get... Dun, 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 dun. We got a magazine. Oh, my gosh. This is uh, one of the luxury or the iconic ones. This is, like, super ultra. Better Homes and Gardens. Uh, oh, yeah, that is definitely retro, right? Uh, 1930. Um, yes, I was not alive during that period. Uh, 10 cents for a magazine. Can you imagine that nowadays? Um, if people even buy magazines, they're definitely not 10 cents. Uh, Dinty More Beef Stew. One and a half pounds. It's a lot of stew. Uh, net weight contents. All right, cool. We got some Ever Ready batteries. Some good old 9 volts. Oh, no, this is a... 67 and a half volts? Nine legs, bounce back, or extra covers power. Interesting. So it's a nine, so I wonder if it... Yeah, it's a nine... Is it for a nine volt battery? Because that's what they look like, but what's 67 and a half? Ooh, I'm not... I love the little prongs on there, though. That's definitely cool. Um, and that was just a common one as well. That's neat. That's definitely cool. A uh, little retro one. We got another Diet Coke. It's all right. Gonna get some duplicates when you're buying a bunch of these mystery packs. Hershey Kisses Milk Chocolate. Now, can you imagine just sitting on the shelf? Um, just this brown plain box. And nowadays, Hershey Kisses have, like, you know, everything on them. Like all the big advertising, all that stuff. Um... And that was an ultra rare. So we got an ultra rare as well. That's pretty sweet. Um, cool. What else do we have? We have a can of Planters Cocktail Peanuts. Uh, which is another rare. Definitely. Oh, look at little Mr. Peanut on the top. Took him forever to change that logo at all. We got one of the Mentos. The Fresh Maker. Back before they started going with like the more iconic -y blue package that everyone knows. And this was still a common. We got a box of hot tamales. It's definitely don't have this little fireman on them anymore. Uh, now they sit on the shelf next to Mike and Ike's. And that was a Mike and Ike's hot tamale. It's an ultra rare. So it's two ultra rares. That's pretty cool. Uh, we got one of these, um, and wow, I am, this is something from Revlon, so this is a Revlon, maybe like a powder brush? Um, hey, hit me up in the comments if you can tell me what this is, because all it says on the, uh, pack here is Revlon, and I do not know what this is. Um, oh, a old school Crayola box. That's nice. Eight pack Crayolas. School crayons. Um, teachers in 1903. Nice as all that. And there's the old school, like how they used to have the Crayolas. They look like strong and school crayons. Nice. That's cool. Alright, alright. Uh, we got a bunch of these to go, so we're just going to keep going. We have another Hershey's can. All right. Neat, neat, neat. We have another STP can. Set that back there. So we got three duplicates so far. Oh, we got another VHS. Whoops. This was a duplicate pack, I guess, or maybe the first one I opened was, since this one was open first. Oh, so this does have that mark in there, too. So that must be something for the Revlon Nails. Uh, well, you got a new one in here. Um, at least for us, we have the Harbo Gold Baron. Um, now, isn't that crazy to think that Harbo gummy bears were ever this? I don't like. Again, I don't know how old these are. I wish they would have put like years these were from. That would have been kind of helpful because like, I don't know how old this was. Um, 
So this does have whiskey on here, it says. Um, it's, oh, it's all new materials. This is a new material they used to make this called uh, pyroethylene foam. Interesting. Uh, but this was another ultra rare. So we haven't got anything higher than ultra rare, but we've got a couple of ultra rares, which is pretty cool. Um, ooh, we got a box of bananas. I don't think I've ever seen bananas in a box. Like, you just buy in a box like this. That's pretty cool. Uh, container ship. You just order them. That's neat. That's also a common. Whoops. Um, and the question is going to be, oh, can I open it up? Can I open up the box and take the bananas out? Now, I'm just kind of lightly pushing on this. So, yeah, these are technically, like, physical in there. They're moving. I could probably break this open and do it, but it's not meant to, like... Just squeeze open. Um, oh, we got some potato chips. Now, this is a, this is one of the luxuries. So, I said some of them are gold. They foiled this one. That is neat. New fangled potato chips. The old school Pringle. Ooh, they even have little, like, blush marks. He definitely changed. Perfect potato chip in a perfect package. What's newfangled about Pringles newfangled potato chips? I don't know. That's neat. That's all. That's one. That's one of the like, like ultra ultra rares. We got another Mentos. So we just set that one back there. Um, some sun made raisins. Now this box obviously actually <laughs> doesn't look like it's changed at all. I mean, I have to like directly go compare it, but I just looks exactly like the one I think I'd see on the shelf. Maybe the font a little bit. That's another ultra rare. Um, so we're getting most of the ultra rares. And we got a pack of uh, batteries. Um, look like D batteries probably. Maybe C's. Some more energizers. Uh, yep, C batteries. Hard to tell. Like just by looking at them. By, with no size comparison. Cool. That was another common as well. Three more balls to go. All right, what else do we have here? We got another Hershey's. I'm just gonna set all of these duplicate ones in one of these other balls just so I can keep an eye on them. Uh, another cheese ball. Another hot tamale. Uh, another Revlon brush stick thing. And looks like another Mentos, so. A couple of duplicates, but, you know, what do you do, right? All right, next one up we have, oh, yeah, another Hershey. we got three Hershey. We're going to stock our shelves with Hershey's. Another dull pineapple slices. Oh, we got a new one here. We got some Campbell soup. Oh, the big gold label. Um, we all the fancy designs on the side. Maybe it looks like fancy soup. Joseph Campbell presents... Made in New Jersey, USA. The best obtainable meat, poultry, and butter, vegetables, etc. Used to prepare our soups. This alone is a secret to the quality. Make six portions, add one and a half pints of boiling water to the contents of this can, heat, and serve. All kinds. Ooh, wow, look at some of these flavors. I don't know if they've been making these. Oxtail. Um... Tomato okra, mock turtle, mullein, gagawi, versimilli tomato, chicken gumbo okra, clam bouillon, clam chowder, mutton broth, pepper pot, asparagus, chewing, celery, beef, and pea. Wow. That is, that is crazy. Um, and that was a... Rare, so it's just a regular rare. We got Pez Dispenser candy box. Interesting, because now they all come in the packages. Um, but yeah, here they, they sell the, like, now you know, almost never buy them unless they look like they're technically like refill packs. But yeah, you can just pull them out before they had the little dispensers. The head popped up. That's pretty cool. That is a rare as well. It looks like they do actually have the one with the head as well. So that came out probably around the same time. Um, then we have a Charlie. Uh, which I believe is also listed as Revlon. Yeah, Revlon type of clone. 
or perfume, probably. Definitely neat. All right. Last ball. Let's see what we got. No, that wasn't the last ball. We already opened one of these. So that was our last one. So we got a decent amount, but we are missing some. So let's kind of just take a look at the list of our common. We didn't get the Gum Gums. Uh, we didn't get the Fresca from Coca-Cola. That's, wow. Um, Revlon uh, makeup kit. Um, we have a 3M diskette. Um, even older than the floppy here. That'd be kind of cool. And the cassette tape. I would like those two. Um, what else do we got? Some Kodak stuff. We didn't get the film roll or the camera. Um, armor all spray. And STP oil in a can. Ooh, oil in a can. God, that is definitely... That will take you back. Um, in the rares, we got no spam or stippy. Uh, no turtle wax. Either type, bottle or can. Bazooka gum. Uh, Crayola in a can. Uh, if you don't see. And then yeah, there's the Pez dispenser with a little guy on it. We jump up into Ultra Rare. We had Mighty Nights we didn't grab. Um, the Mead Composite Notebook. Um, some more Kodak film. We didn't get either the Fruit Loops or the Frosted Flakes. I love those old school boxes. Those are really cool. Um, yeah, then in the... Luxury, the gold foiled or possibly sparkly versions of these. We only got the Pringles. Uh, we only got one of the magazines for Better Home Garden. We get the Life one. Then the two glow in the dark ones. Or the pouring ones, which are really cool. Pouring cheese balls, frosted flakes, or V8. Um, really neat. All right, that is what we have for Mini Brands Retro. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just I like showing these off when I get some of them. So that way, if you're like, hey, I saw these in store, and they kind of show pictures. Sometimes they have the display case. Sometimes they don't. Uh, might give you an idea if it's something you're interested in. See you guys later. Bye.